YouTubers. Um, been a while since I've uploaded a video. I apologize about that. I have had three different addresses in the past couple years since I've uploaded a video. Um, lots of moving around. I think hopefully I'm actually settled for a little while. As you can see, I'm starting to build my green machine wall. That's just a test run just to see how they kind of fit on the pegs. Um, I'm going to be painting this wall green. I do have the emerald green paint to paint it. So, anyways, I want to keep this short. Um, I'm super excited. I'm doing my first run, my first part time collector run with green light collectibles. I'm hope, hoping that I get to do many more. Um, so, without further ado, I got something special in the box. So, if you've seen my posts on Facebook, I've already shown the artwork, so I'm not going to show that here. I'm going to put the phone down real quick so I can cut this open. Whew. I'm excited. This has been over a year in the making, and it's like a dream coming true. It just it doesn't feel real yet, so... I got some small images of this, so I haven't actually got to really see the details quite yet. Ah, it's wrapped up really good. Uh, sorry, let me put the phone down one more time. Should I tease you guys and show my reaction to seeing it for the first time? Nah, who cares about my ugly face? We just want to see the car. That's all that matters. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. That's so cool. Um, well, here it is, guys. Wraps. The series that I'm doing. This is release number one. I did 001. Someone got onto me for doing that. I, um... <laughs> So my justification is I want to at least do a minimum of seven cars or runs with green light so I can have 007. So I got to do something like 007 theme for the seventh run if I can. I obviously can't do the exact one because I think Johnny Lightning's got the licensing for it. But hey, we're going to do something close. Actually, Hobbles does it too. So I'm sure green light can get the licensing. We got to do something related. Oh, the carbon fiber looks really good. I was not expecting that. I don't think I've seen a carbon fiber wrap on a green light car before. Um, huh. It looks fantastic. Fantabulous. Let's get up really close and personal with this. All right. Um, let's see if I can stop shaking. Holy crap. Sorry, I'm just... A little excited, if you can't tell. Um, there are already quite a, a lot of revisions that need to be done to this particular sample. Um, just some like minor details and stuff, like stuff that I honestly would not have picked up on, just because I don't do this professionally and I'm not able to look at the details and know right off the bat like what needs to be done. So the salesperson I've been working with, who's actually the VP now of Greenlight, um, he has been the one overlooking it, this run or doing this run for me since we started back in May of last year. And he already gave a huge breakdown of all the stuff that he's changed. So fortunately, I've got him on my side and he's telling the factory what to fix on it. Um, like the wheels in the front will be black with like chrome inserts on the front. Um, the back will remain black. They don't have a matching wheel for the back just yet. Hopefully sometime in the future they will because there's another Fox body down the road that I'd like to do that has the same wheel in the back as it does in the front because it is a particular wheel set that's very popular with the Draxers. I would like to get into that. Um, but at this time, this is the only set that I have. And guys, just keep in mind, this is the Deco sample. The final version will be even better and more awesome looking than this. As you can see, um, they kind of messed up a little bit on the headlights as well. The headlights should be 
like 70% uh, tent. So they should look smoked instead of like this Robocop thing going on. And the tampo should be on the inside, so that way the details that you see would be on the inside. And with it being smoked, you'd actually really barely even be able to see them at all. The flames look fantastic. The carbon fiber is ridiculously amazing. One of the notes was um, the holly on the windshield needs to be fixed, which I can see that. And... Yeah, there must be two samples because mine looks different even than the one that was in the photos being sent back to the factory. So, mm, I need to find a way to get that from Greenlight. Let's get that off for selling the windshield. I completely spaced and forgot to tell Jeff, um, like, hey, can you uh, make a bright white lettering for the not for sale? Just because I'm a huge fan of deco samples, but I completely forgot. I was just, I'm so excited that this thing's being made. And here's a view from the other side. Look at that carbon fiber all the way through. That is so cool. So, um, originally, like when I had the idea of wraps, I was just gonna do cars that have wraps and stuff. Like that's the whole point of calling it wraps. But I ended up changing that just because I really wanted to expand on everything that's pretty awesome in the car world. Um, this car is actually hand painted. Uh, I'll try and see if I can find a link to an article or something that's got some better photos of it and I can put in the description but um, all the cars in the rap series will be based on real life cars and I'm planning on having a real life picture of the car on the packaging um, and I left the packaging at my work dang it I could have shown you the packaging well that's gonna be for a future video that I can show you off the packaging where I can get this actually inside the packaging so that way you can have an idea of what this is going to look like in actual production. But here you go, guys. I mean, this is it. You even got like carbon fiber on the, the wing on the back. Oh, it's so cool. Um, my camera's messing up the till on this car. It's actually fairly accurate to what it needs to be um, I do apologize about that I don't have proper lighting because I don't really have a studio for recording part-time collector right now um, it is in the works just lots and lots of work to do but anyways guys I again just want to show off this car this deco sample 1990 Mustang That's flat black on the inside. I wonder if that can be changed to be carbon fiber as well. Hmm. Um. Oops. Blah. Uh, the hood doesn't stay open. This is a quick picture of the inside. Um, this will change. So right now it's still on the inside. It's actually supposed to be flat black. So that'll be different. And I know that the real car has a pro charger and stuff on there. Uh, obviously green light does not make that tooling so this is what you're gonna get so unfortunately that part won't be true to the real car so there's a couple differences like the real car has a taller cowl hood on it um, the back wheel is different but the front wheel will be will be accurate to the real one the spoiler the graphics everything else will be pretty much the same the front bumper is a little bit different because on the real car there's no like intake area right here or air dam whatever you call that <laughs> black area right there it's actually flat which i wish green could do but i understand that they can't but <clears throat> ah, i'm excited i don't have pre-orders up i i apologize for that um i really don't want to do pre-orders until it's on a boat to the states i don't know i'm just anxious about doing pre-orders and stuff just because there's a lot of people that cancel if you wait too long so look around maybe august i'll have the pre-order or whatever but i'll be doing a video upload when i do have um the pre-order going on because at that time they'll also be sending me a production sample so like this is the pre-production sample just so that way we can make the corrections before it goes into production then they send me a production sample while production's going on just to verify everything does look good. 
And at the time when I get that, I'll be making another video with a production so you can see the differences that they changed and that we can get that pre-order up. It will be on my website, parttimecollector.com. Um, like I'll have a, a link to the store there. I do have a Square site that I'm kind of playing around with. I'm I'm still debating if I want to go with Shopify. All right, um, so I'm kind of debating if I want to go with Shopify or if I want to go with Square. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't want to pay 40 bucks a month for Shopify when I do like 99% of my sales on eBay. Um, uh, if you guys have a recommendation, maybe I can go that route. I mean, the Square site seems pretty intuitive, pretty easy. I already have quite a few things listed on it. Um, just kind of testing. Like, it is live to buy stuff, but it's just a test platform. That's why I don't have a link for it yet. Um, so, if you're looking to buy stuff for me, I'm on eBay as Derek Nitro RC. I always put a link to that eBay store in my descriptions. So if you're feeling like buying something for me, <laughs> there you go. That's a good way to buy from Part Time Collector, help support the channel. And hopefully I can get back into making videos very, very soon. Um, got a big show that I'm going to tomorrow. So this weekend's gonna be a little crazy trying to recover from that. Um, sorry, I'm just rambling. I, I'm so happy that <laughs> I'm just gonna keep rambling. So I'm gonna shut up now. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll be able to get a lot more content out. I have a ridiculous amount of videos that I want to make, stuff that's been on the back burner for years, like back when I was making videos pretty consistently when I was back in Colorado. Um, some stuff that has been on the shelf for a while, like idea-wise, I'm going to finally start making it because I've got some really exciting, some funny stuff, and some tearing down of some of the collecting world not tearing down like some of the bringing stuff to reality like one of the big ones i really want to do is actually i'm not gonna say so i say it, someone else is gonna steal that idea hmm i do want to make that video sooner or later it's gonna be a, a trial one for diecast it's gonna be weird it's gonna take like a month to probably make this video but i'm excited about that one hopefully i can get that one started soon so i can start recording because it's gonna be recordings over a month that's weird i'm gonna shut up Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys ever want to reach me, you can always reach me on Facebook. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Part Time Collector. I always have a link on that in the description. You can message me on eBay. You can message me on Instagram, maybe. I apologize for all those that have messaged me in the past year and a half on Instagram. For some reason, the phone that I had previously, uh, my messages wasn't working. So I stopped using Instagram because it kind of got frustrating, but I just got a new phone and it seems to be working again. So you can message me on Instagram as Derek Nitro RC. And that's pretty much the main ways to get me. And I'm also a part-time collector at gmail.com. So there's a lot of different ways you can reach out to me if you have any questions or need help with anything. And no, the Spark Viper is not for sale. I I don't want to be rude to anybody, like, but it's not for sale. <laughs> If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up my videos and you'll find the video on the Spark 118th Viper GTSR. Holy crap. People message me on Facebook. They message me through email. They message me on YouTube. They comment on the video. I think someone messaged, I think people message me on Instagram. I think someone messaged me on Derek, um, Derek RC, like my eBay store. Like every way you can reach me, I've had people message me trying to buy that thing for me. It's like... The only way I'd get rid of it is if I could get the red with the white stripes. Or if I get 100,000 subscribers. How about that? If I do, if I get 100,000 subscribers, I'll do a giveaway of it or something. There you go. Anyways, holy crap, 14 minutes. I'm going to shut up. Have a great weekend. See you guys. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of this video. You can subscribe by clicking on the Vipers in the bottom right corner. See my most current video in the top right corner. The two videos on the left are based on your interest in this video. And make sure to leave a comment like this video and subscribe for more content and as always happy hunting